What's up guys, welcome to episode 1 of the Science of Healthy Eating. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at one of the scariest things known to society today. That's right, the stuff that can literally make or break you. Give it up for the stuff from your dreams or nightmares, calories. We're so fixated on eating better or clean that the thought of eating right for you is bizarre. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. But you do need to understand what you're looking at when you look at these nutrition labels. But what is a calorie? How do they work? Are they in food? Well, to put it simply, a calorie is a measurement of how much energy is in an edible substance. Potential heat energy, that is. And it goes without saying that different foods have different calories in them. And they all differ from lettuce to tacos to alcohol. Now take everything we have on the counter here, for example, from lettuce to cheese puffs to a bottle of rum. All these things have a different amount of calories in them. Now, let's use this culinary blowtorch to represent your body's ability to metabolize things and burn calories. The flame being your body burning calories. As you can see, lettuce doesn't release that much energy from the calories within it. Take something as cheese puffs, for example. It's like fireworks almost in the little bowl, right? And now take, as you saw, all these foods release a different amount of energy from the lettuce, which didn't really go up in flames after it was exposed to the heat, and the Cheetos, which pretty much got scorched and were like mini fireworks in a bowl. I don't know what alcohol does. Bottom line is your body's burning all these things as fuel for energy. Let's take the Cheetos for example again. You can see how much energy the Cheetos give off, just simply fanning this flame over it. So you made a bag of Cheetos, digestion's going on and whatnot, you're burning all this food for energy, but what happens if you don't need that energy all at once? or maybe not at all. Where is it going to go? Chances are, it's going to be stored as fat. But wait, don't worry. As long as you're active, or if you're trying to build muscle, or you're using your brain a lot to try and cram for that exam tomorrow, you're probably going to use this energy somehow. So don't panic. Even if these calories become stored as fat, it's not the end of the world. Your body does need some fat in order for you to actually live properly. But we'll talk about that in another episode. So how many calories should you be eating? Well, that depends entirely on your lifestyle and your goals within your life. Are you looking to gain? Are you looking to lose? Or are you looking to maintain your current body weight? Right now, the average diet is based around about 2,000 calories a day. And that's for someone theoretically who works 9 to 5 and, I don't know, gets about 30, to 30 minutes to an hour of exercise every day. That means if this person was eating 2,000 calories a day, no more, no less, and burning no less or no more than 2,000 calories a day, their body weight would stay the same. Now, how do we change this? You've got two options. You can either lose or gain weight, as we know. Which means, if you're looking to gain weight or lose weight on a 2,000 calorie diet, for example, then you're gonna have to expend more energy or more calories than you're taking in during the day in order to lose weight. And if you're looking to gain weight, you're gonna need to expend less energy or take in more calories than you're expending in order to gain weight. Make sense? And we can adjust all this expenditure not only by looking at what we eat and the caloric content within them, but by adjusting our activity levels as well. How crazy would I sound to you if I said you could have a bowl of ice cream every single day and not gain a single pound? Well, you can. So if you're serious to making changes about your weight, you should probably keep track of the calories. Now, some people may go so far as to actually count the number of calories they have each day. And I mean every single calorie. Portion of the meals and whatnot. Props to you guys, I just love food way too much to do that. So at the end of the day, I want you guys to remember that calories are energy, right? Same thing. If you take in more energy than you need, then you're gonna store that energy as fat or maybe some muscle. And if you lose more energy than you need, then you're gonna lose weight. And depending on whether or not that is fat or muscle mass loss, that's another story for another episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment below and let me know like, what you guys want to hear about on our next episode of The Science of Healthy Eating. That's all for this time, guys. Peace. Everything we have on the counter here, for example, they all have a different amount of calories in them, from lettuce, cheese puffs, to a bottle of rum. 